Well, if you came here for phenomenal editing and amazing shooting, I've got bad news for you. Uh, been quite a while since I've been out, and it showed all the way around. So get the apologies out of the way and start showing you here. Uh, those are some deer right there. But I managed to come across some hogs. It's been about six weeks. Hadn't gone out much, just hadn't been seeing much. So I edited it out, uh, my stock up to them. You can see they're in extremely tall grass. I'm actually on a slight rise above them, able to see down, otherwise I wouldn't see them at all. And at this point, I'm just trying to figure out which one might be the alpha and see how many I can get down before they make it in the tall grass. So here we go. This is my candidate for lucky shot of the night. It's kind of a blind one. Ended up getting lucky and hitting it right in the head. Uh, but at this point, all the hogs are gone. All I'm looking at is grass. I know I hit three. I can still hear the one uh, hog number two squealing a little bit. Took a moment before she quieted down. Unfortunately, I was able, wasn't able to see her uh, in order to put a finishing shot into her. But in a moment here, we started looking. And we looked. It took about 45 minutes that I searched. And I managed to finally come across uh, hog number two here. She was only about 100 pounds or so. Uh, you can see that I hit her in the rear end. The bullet made it about 14 inches through her before it exited. And then this was the lucky shot of the night. This is hog number three. He ended up taking the hit right behind the ear and it exited out right by his eye. And I searched and searched for hog number one. As you can see, I outlined kind of the body, and I had thought that I had placed a good shot right there on the shoulder and spine, but I never found that hog, even though it dropped. And this is what I was looking for these hogs in, so I really wasn't having a whole lot of success out there by myself. And on to the next folly. I'm over here in my neighbor's place on the way home, and I thought I might have seen some hogs in the trees. So I had made my way over here. And I really can't be completely positive of what they are. So I did a lot of back and forth out here. And I ended up at some point stopping the record or pausing the record that I figured I would pick it up later on. And what I ended up doing was I ended up shooting because one of these hogs right here in the foreground right there in the tall grass stuck its head up because it had winded me. And then all heck broke loose. And I wasn't smart enough to hit record. So good job on me. That's excellent. I'm super proud of that. But what I did walk away with was at least two hogs that were in the foreground. Didn't get anything uh, that was running back through the trees, at least nothing that I found. That was it for my night. I'll try to do a little bit better next time, and you all have a wonderful day.